Chapter 13, Pronunciation, page number 233, Way to Success. Way to success. How do you succeed? Success is well, how do you get what you want from the world? That's all. That is success. If you get whatever you want from the world, you are successful. If you are not getting what you want from the world, you are a failure. It's as simple as that. And what you want will vary from person to person. Now, what he is, he is saying is renunciation is the way to be successful in the world. That's what he is going to explain now. That is the topic now. All that he is saying is, before we go into the complexities of this, the dynamics behind it, it's, it works exactly like, you know, your childhood friend. You are a child, you know, two kids, you know, friends. They will be playing every day. And one day this fellow comes to school with a new pen, fountain pen. You know? I don't know how many of you those days, you know, fountain pen. If a fellow had to bring a fountain pen, he is, he is great. So fountain pen he brings to the to the school. And he brings a fountain pen, you go and ask him, hey, 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 just give me you know one, you know, in this class I will write notes with your pen. You know, next class you can write. In this class you will write that. And if you are you go on asking him that for the gen, huh? I will not give it to you. I will not give it to you. But he will be showing it in front of you all the time. Every time he is asking any question, any you know, answer he wants to give, he will raise the pen only. Not raise his hand. Just to irritate you. And the point would come where he said, Che ban. I don't want it. The moment you say Chiba, I don't want it, the friend will come behind you. Hey, that is good. Keep it, keep it. It's okay. Keep it, keep it. He'll say, ah, no, 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 I don't want it. Say, no, don't show up. That's what only you have it. I will tell my father to get it for me or my uncle to get it for me. My uncle will get 10 pence like this. That is all he say. That is all he say. The way to successful is this. Well, you know, world is like your friend. Indeed, yes. He is a friend. Nature is a friend. And he has the same behavior like your friend. The moment you say, Shiva, he will offer whatever you are asked for. Till you say that, hey, please, hey, 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 hey. You, you keep going behind him, he will say, get lost. That's all he is saying here. The way to be successful is what? How to be successful in life? Renunciation. And what is renunciation? Feedback. Very simple. Okay. Now we have simplified. We will go to complex. Right. No. The spirit of renunciation is the secret of success. The lives of some of the outstanding personality in history have demonstrated this truth. The secret of their success lay in keeping themselves above attachment above worldly worry and anxiety. Their mind was set 
on a high and noble ideal beyond any trace of the selfish ego and its demands. Their energies were directed, dedicated to the lofty goal. Their power rose from the stand they took. Their mind reached above self-aggrandizing, egoistic living. That was their state of abstraction, spirit of renunciation, wherein the world and its attractions meant nothing to them. Renunciation is the sap that flows in the tree of success. Vedanta provides you with the knowledge to live that exalted life. Renunciation is synonymous with the knowledge of self. Knowledge and renunciation are two sides of a coin. The rishis, great sages of the past, retired to the forest to contemplate, discover the fundamental truths of life. Just as scientists isolate themselves in the laboratory to discover the laws governing the world, the truths of life that the sages unearth constitute knowledge meant for the people to apply in their day-to-day -day living. In the same manner as the scientific laws found in the laboratory are applicable to the outside world, Vedanta, therefore, is not designed for resignation or error, yet people wrongly believe it so and have unwisely alienated it from the modern society, especially the youth. Sadly, the youth have been brainwashed to believe that Vedantic knowledge promotes renunciation meant for super onwards who are done with life or ideal recluses. Now, what is this renunciation? The renunciation is just the two sides of the same coin. Knowledge and renunciation are two sides of the same coin. So the fact that you say that I have knowledge means you should be a renunciate. If you say that I have knowledge but no renunciation in me, then the knowledge that you are claiming is not true knowledge. It is pseudo. So renunciation and knowledge. And what is renunciation? Go back again. So what is that is what he is explaining now. It is synonymous term, he says. Knowledge and renunciation. Where? What is renunciation? Renunciation is wherein the world and its attractions meant nothing to you. That is what renunciation means. It is the world will not attract. The moment we say the world immediately you go to mean, you know, identify what is that world that we are talking about here. The moment, you know, we use the word the world. The world means the world that you are attracted to. The world that you are attached to. The world of your desires. You see, it's not just the world. Now, each one of us have got our own world. How do you know which is the world that uh, you are attracted to? The world of your desires. That's all. How do you know? Yes. Very simple. This few seconds, I was sitting quiet. Right. I don't think I forgot what to speak. Okay. What happened to your mind? Now, if, you, if, I, if I were to be quiet for five minutes, let's say, yes, just quiet for about 30 seconds. If I would have extended my thing for two, three minutes or so, What would have happened, sir? Your thoughts will start. 
alighting itself on something, somewhere it will go and sit. Effortlessly, your mind will entertain a thought by itself, automatic. Wherever it goes and alights itself, that's what your desires are. It's very simple. How do you know my desires? No difficulty at all, actually, to identify your desires. All that you have to do is what? Simply sit quietly. When you attempt to sit quietly, what happens is your thoughts will move effortlessly. Where it will go? Business. See, first time when I am when I am sitting quiet in the class, you are not used to it. Therefore, what happens suddenly? All of you started checking your mic, isn't it? Your uh, speaker. I mean, you know, maybe something wrong with this, you know, this thing or something is happening. You know, you are just paying attention to that, right? After some time, what you do? If you were to be quiet by yourself, immediately mind will go to business or family or society, country, my this. Somewhere it will go and sit by itself. So that is what your desire is. That is what your world is. Remember. The world, world will not have any attraction or aversion by itself. Nothing in the world has attraction on its own or aversion on its own. The attractions and aversions of the world is because of you actually. So what is renunciation? Renunciation is simply giving up that desires. And what is a desire? Wherever your thoughts effortlessly goes by itself. Like you, you, you go to this wedding reception. So buffet they have huge spread. Everything is there in that. This is there, this is there, this is there, this is there. You name it, it is there nowadays. Punjabi, this side. Then they say chart that side, and then you know continental this side, and then let's say South Indian, we have some North Indian, some, you know, Mexican. This is this. Stand the corner and see people. Each one will go to that one counter. You see. If I if you see me, I will also go to a particular counter. You see. I'm not going to tell you which counter I will go to. Okay. But I will also go to a particular counter. So many things are there. But why is it that I get attracted to that particular counter? If you find there anyone going to all the counters, he is a man of renunciation. Now, how do you know renunciates are there? Anyone who goes to all the counters. What is happening? This, this is what the problem is. No, you, you just have your thoughts box itself to a particular object or being or particular experience. Wherever it goes and parks itself, that is what is referred as, as this. Renunciation means knowledge. Knowledge means what? Knowledge means Understanding the futility of your desires. Because of that understanding of the futility of the desires, you drop the desires. That is called renunciation. So that is why he says, knowledge and renunciation, synonymous terms. Now knowledge, don't take it as knowledge of Vedanta Kritis. Okay. I don't take it, okay, immediately, I know entire Bhagavad Gita. I know all this. Not, not that. That's why he specifies knowledge of the self. Knowledge of the self means what? Absolute sense it is knowledge of Brahman. In the relative sense, knowledge of how your mind is entertaining its desires. How it is creating that world of attraction and the world of aversion. 
both are created by your desires only. Uh, how does it happen? Knowledge of that. How does it happen? You just go on the road. You see a car passing by in a flash. It goes so fast. And you say, no, hey, what is that here? Say, oh, that's a car. This is a car, whatever the car is. Okay. Whatever brand you wanted to imagine, you can imagine now. A car passes by. When a car passes by, you see that. When you see that, what happens? Nothing happens, actually. If you don't see it, something wrong with you. Okay. Which means you are blind. If you have eyes, you will see a car passing by. And you can see there is a quality of the car. You recognize, you register, you register the sight. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing happens there. But then that registration, you don't leave as registration. You do something after the experience, after the registration of the car. What do you say? Ah, beautiful car. Beautiful car. Or a car is parked uh, in, a, you know, in, a, in a parking lot. Somebody else's car. Or something, you know, there. So they're standing out. And someone deliberately has parked, you know, their, their car there. And all these fellows are going and taking selfie. The car there. Lamborghini. Take a picture. Take a picture. picture, picture. And then post it in FB. Anyway, everyone knows that's not your car. Then what is the point? But still, what? You go and take a picture. I'm not saying something wrong up to that point. Even that is not wrong. I'm not saying posting in FB also wrong. There also nothing happens, actually speaking. Now, after that experience is over, you move your eyes, start registering the next side. Because you have eyes, it will register. But the problem is, your mind doesn't move to that next site registration. It starts going back to the previous site. Previous experience of what? What a beautiful car. Oh, what a engine, what a color, what this, what sophistication. What is the way you enter the car? How do you exit the car? the acceleration of the car, you go on adding thoughts. Beautiful car, beautiful car, beautiful car, beautiful car. Nothing happens, you believe. But suddenly, something happens in the thought process. You see, suddenly you start thinking what? Now, how it would be if I possess it? How it would be if I were to be parking the car and getting out of the car? Imagine that. How everyone. See, like me running to take picture with that car, everyone will be coming to take picture with me then. Oh, fantastic. Now what has happened? That one addition that adds, you see, at what point that thought gets added to the perception and it is factual. When you register the car, factually that car is outstanding piece. It's a, it's a marvel. You know, engineering marvel these, these vehicles are. To see them. Or the, a bullet. It's, a, it's an engineering marvel to see. How you can just, you know, mix match with the metal and make it into something so beautiful. Nothing wrong in that. Suddenly this thought comes. Why? When? At what point? We'll, I, I'll come back to that later. Okay. Next step is this. 
somewhere down the line, what happens? You say, I wish to possess that car. I wish to be the owner of the car. Then I may go about doing anyway. I may even go and steal that car. I may go and, you know, uh, start studying so well. I may start becoming a, you know, fantastic sportsman as a result of which I will earn so much of money and then I'll buy the car or I may start a business. I earn money and buy the car. I can do anything. That is not my point. Desire is where is it? That attraction. There. The starting point is so innocuous. That's what you, if you, if you see uh, Ganges, the origin, Gangotri, if you go to the top, you know, Alakananda, you know, if you go and see there, they will say, this is, this is Ganges. They will show that, you know. You see that, you know, tributaries there. You go up and see. So fascinating. You know, how many of you have I'm not asking you to go, you know, for this you don't have to go. But if you have, if you have B, it's okay. Otherwise, it's not, a, it's all a waste of time. Okay. You, you'll be spoiling the place, that's all. But you go there, it is so interesting to see. It is just, you know, a small, you know, trickle. Water, that, 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 that river, you know, starting, if you see, it is just, you know, you can jump across. You can just jump from this side to that side, from that side to this side. You can keep jumping. I was, I was really enjoying that action. Nothing. And you come down to the plains, but even near Rishikesh, you come and see the, the Ganges there. What a force. And you come to this this one, it can it can flood the uh, a city. That much is what I say. The ships were you know ferrying across this side and that side in Calcutta, and it's an impossible to believe. You you have to actually you know brainwash yourself to believe that is the starting point for this. Starting point is like that. So small, so small, so innocuous it is, so meek. But when it comes down, 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 down it comes, it starts gathering, 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 gathering. Little here, little there, little here, little there. That's all is happening actually, if you if you see that river. Or you go to if you cannot go there, you can go up to Talekavari at least. Now, uh, no. my parents were living in my, Mysore for a period of time. So, any guest comes, you know, entertainment is to take them to Talekavari. Oh, Talekavari, you should go. What is there? The fellow shows, you know, a, a, a small sump like, you know, smaller than my table, actually. You know, just that much. And he says that's the starting point of this, and you bring that fellow to KRS Dam and show KRS and say, you see, this, this much of water has come from there. Okay. Are you mad? How can this be bringing? How can this? Yeah. So this is where a lot of people get confused. You see, that is what River is telling us. A man, it is that momentum, it's the speed, it is that vega that it gallops over a period of time. That desires gallops that speed, that momentum. After that, you are finished. You can't do anything in that. This is what Hitler says. One of the fascinating truth of Hitler. You know, fascinating thing he told about human mind. He says. Repeat the light ten times. You'll start believing that as truth. Just have to repeat the light ten times. It can be even a lie. That's what he means. It can be a lie told by you also. 
It's not that somebody else is lying to you and you are repeating it. Not necessarily. Even if you know for the first time when you are telling, you are telling it as a lie actually. But you go on repeating that lie again and again and again over a period of time, you will start believing that to be the truth. Amazing one of his. That entire book of his main camp, this thick the book is. What is only this one, 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 one point there? The rest are all boring in that. But this is a fascinating thing he explains. He says, all that you have to do is you don't have to win. You keep telling people that we are winning, we are winning, we are winning. I know. And over a period of time, we will start believing we are winning. That is the way we have to go on conquering con con his eyes. Amazing one. This is very attractive. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. You go on repeating it, repeating it, repeating it. Over a period of time, what happens? It gallops that energy. This. But the starting point of all this is what? You registered the site. Therefore, a lot of people started thinking renunciation, starting point itself, you clip it. What you should do? Don't register. Don't stay. If you, if you see the car only, there is a possibility of all this. No. Therefore, what you should do? Don't see the car. Only when you have tasted that food only, there is a possibility. No. Therefore, don't taste anything. Only if you are experiencing this possibility, don't see. Don't do it. Therefore, what to do? Get out. That's what he says. That is not possible. That is not renunciation at all. That has got nothing to do with renunciation. Remember, you are, it is not the experience the problem is. The problem is what you do with that experience after the experience. How your mind starts working, entertaining thoughts, how you are thinking. Now, when I say thinking, I'm not talking about analytical reasoning and, and things here, please. Here, thinking means this, remember. It means you are not aware what you are thinking. There is no awareness but thinking continues. That is how this thoughts gets entertained. When you are entertaining the thoughts, you are not aware of that. And that not being alert, not being aware of your thoughts is an ideal breeding ground for desires to multiply. That's an ideal one. Over. I saw her. The first sight itself, I fell in love. Love at first sight. Vedanta says, not possible. There is no such thing called love at first sight. But then immediately we'll say, what? No, no, no. That is what I have experienced. I have experienced that. I saw the person. The first time I saw itself, I. What is the meaning of that? Vedanta says, you don't understand what is going on with you. All that was happening is something of what you have been wanting, what you have been dreaming, what you have been desiring, what you have been visualizing, what you have been thinking about is reflected in that particular. Therefore, that looks attractive. That's all. You see, it's not because of the person. They just crystallize in that the whole thing, what I have been visualizing, gets crystallized. Once it gets crystallized, straight away there is, a, there is attraction towards it. That's what you'll find. You know, late marriages, people will be doting on each other. They'll be doting. They'll be having so much of, you know, attachment to each other. Why? 
there. The first, straight away, there is attachment. Child. Have you ever realized if you cal 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 if you if you just calculate the intensity of attachment the parent has towards the child versus the child has towards the parent? Ask any parent in the world whose attachment is whose affection, or in, in our language, whose affection is more. Invariably, we will all parents will say, parents, attachment towards a child is far more than a child's attachment to parent. Isn't it? I'm not saying they are not loving each other, but if you see that relative strength between this and that, always you find parents are more than this. Why? Universally, that's a fact. Why? What is the reason? How long you have been longing for child, 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 child? Is a we? How long they have been longing for parent, 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 parent? Whose thinking is more? Child, child, child. See? My child, my child, my child, my child, my child. That is what we, we insist on the child also, isn't it? Then you get about you know 10, 15 kids born. Let them all grow up together in one place where nobody is telling them who is their father, who is their mother. After five years, let the Original father, mother stand in front of them. Will they be able to recognize? They will not recognize. Why they will not recognize? They are not told. You see, whereas we keep telling the child, Appa bar, you know, look at father, look at father, look at mother, look at mother, uh, look at, you know, nah, you know, Grandfather, look at grandfather, 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 grandfather. Then suddenly what happens? The child starts. But that is injected into the child. Child is not getting it. But whereas in our case, what we are doing? My child, my child, my child, my child. From where you got this? When you did that? Since when you were there doing all this? That is why... We never understand what is happening in our life because all the desires we get are getting entertained when, when you are not aware of it. You don't even understand what is happening. Like for example, I am explaining knowledge. Okay, He says knowledge is synonymous with renunciation. That's why I am explaining knowledge instead of explaining renunciation. Hmm. Now, sometimes you know people come for some sort of you know counseling or some discussion. They come for whenever these people come for this uh, this one, ask them you know, what is the first thing that comes to you or mind when you say wedding. I have already said wedding. Every one of you would have got a thought. Right? Your wedding or somebody's wedding, doesn't matter. The moment we say wedding, what is your first thought? Hmm? What do you think of that? Sari is One more, no, one girl. Yes. Sari is Another fellow, food is that? Food. What is the wedding? Food. What is this? The wedding means so much of, you know, spending, so much of this, so much of that. But what is your concept of wedding first? When you say wedding, 
first thought should be coming to you is what? May the two souls be happy. May these two people, let these two individuals live a happy life. For that, what all we are supposed to do? What all is necessary? We think like this. This is called a knowledge. Food, sir, what is that? That's called you are not even aware of what's happening. I'm not against food. I'm not saying, you know, you should not spend so much of money. Because a lot of people say, you know, why there is so much of money being spent? It's all waste. I say, is he asking your money? Hmm? He's not asking your money, no. If he is taking money from you and spending, correct. That also is taking us a loan, he is going to repay. What is the problem then? Let him spend, no. What is your issue there, man? But then we feel what? Why is spending? No, nothing wrong in spending. The starting point of thinking should be what? Essentially, wedding means it's a thing where two individuals come together to live a happy life. For that, what all necessities are? In that context, how much of people to be invited for wedding? Now you say, yeah, we wanted to invite people. We can't invite people. Why? Because corona restrictions are there. So what? Okay, there are thousand fellows that have come for your wedding. So, what has happened because of that? In what way that is going to be? Okay, let's say that only 10 people have come. So, what has happened? No, I have saved so much of money. So, you have saved so much of money. For what? For what you have saved so much of money? At least if you have had that wedding, so many fellows would have got employment. The flower wala would have got an employment. That you know, a caterer would have got something, this fellow would have got something, that fellow would have got something, that music crew would have got something, and the fellow who is doing the video recording would have got something, and this you know, camera fellow would have got something to take Photoshop. So much of them would have got employment. Now you have destroyed all their employment opportunity in life. Which is better? I say it's better you feed all those fellows employment because of your wedding. So many of them getting employed, they are getting paid, they are earning some money. Let it be, no. So what? What is your thinking? Like this, every aspect. You say, okay, hospital. What is the first thought you get when you say hospital? For us, hospital means very different one. Now that weird smell, you know, we used to have those days in the hospitals here. You know, you go in that uh, right better bus stop, we cannot cross. In that bus stand, you will get that smell. You know, that, that weird, you know, smell we used to get. I know. But nowadays, hospital, you go. It's like my father-in-law got really, you know, confused. I told him, you know, we are going to a hospital for checkup. So I'm taking you to the hospital, let's go. So when we went there to the hospital, right, took him to the hospital here, he said, in the Adam, he asked me, you know, what is this place? There. I said, this is hospital. Hospital. Because he see, you know, a fellow with the uh, tie and coat and suit and all that is standing there in the reception. There is a lobby there, there is a carpet there, and there is there's no smell at all. And it is all, you know, so clean. That's not hospital for him. Yeah, you know, lobby. They have a lobby. You know, I said, lobbies we used to have, you know, five star hotel. You know, hospital, why do you need a lobby there? Only thing they are not doing now in hospital is what? Welcome drink. Over a period of time, people will start giving welcome drink also. You, know, you go to hospital, is there welcome? You know, you have come to give business to us. You know, welcome drink. You can recommend it actually to give, you know, welcome drink, you know, glucose. That's all you have to give, glucose D. Mix it and give it to people and say, you know, you are given glucose. What is that? Now, from where, sir, this thoughts keeps on. 
Whenever you see a hospital, first thought should be what? When you pass by a hospital, thought should be there should not be a hospital at all. Doctors don't get annoyed with me. You can get a better profession. You see, let there not be any hospitals. Now, how many of us think like that? Let all the hospitals be deserted. Nobody to go. Then you do whatever you want. You see, what is the thought that strikes to you first? That is why when I ask you, okay, now you just sit and observe your thoughts for five minutes, ten minutes, whatever it is, whatever the time is. You start observing your thoughts. What will happen to you? Don't do now, okay? You do after, after some time, if you remember to. You will find this happening. If you have done earlier, you, you can understand this. Or if you attempt it, you will, you, will, you, will, you will be able to understand it. The moment I say, sit and observe your thoughts, first few seconds or few minutes perhaps, you will not get any thought. Right? You will not get any thought. After that, you will get one thought. Now you observe. What is a thought? Nothing will come. Suddenly you will get one thought. What? Dinner time, la? Right, it was evening, you know, late. Now it's already 7.45. Dinner time. Dinner means what? Food. Food means what? Pizza is there, pasta is there, upitu is there, idli is there, dosa is there, chapati is there, paratha is there, biryani is there. You can go on adding, 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 adding. What is happening here? All that is happening is you just go on adding various images to it. That one thought, the first thought that popped up in your mind, that one thought creates various associated images. You see, after that you will not be able to be conscious of what's happening. From where all that associated images popped up. How? After about 15-20 minutes, you will realize, hey, I'm supposed to observe my thoughts. Just observe the thoughts. Then what will happen again? Again for a few seconds or a few minutes, no thoughts will be there. Again after that, one thought will pop up. That first thought that pops up has robbed your observation power. Once you lose your observation power, that is the time thought starts popping up. That is the time thought starts entertaining itself. Since you are not observing at all, means you are not conscious at all about what all the thoughts had entertained, what all had happened. What all you are doing? What all you are thinking? You have, you have no idea about all those things. Since you are not having any idea about all these things, this state of unawareness, non-conscious condition is the time where you are entertaining thoughts. Continuously you are entertaining ideas, informations, and you are not processing that information at all. This unconscious, unalert information, non-processed, becomes your desires. When that becomes your desires, how just a repetition, that's all. Like in the 80s movies, if you see all Bollywood movies, standard equation. Always villains are rich. 
you see those 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 movies all villains rich all heroes poor all good people poor all bad fellows rich you keep on watching that movie again and again and again and again and again what will happen any time you see a rich man you think what black money he is swindled he is a he is a corrupt fellow he is done something nakra something you think you, you can never think of him as a good fellow it's it is not possible for us to believe that why because we are constantly told but what is so interesting is you hate rich but you want to become rich you see if you say that you should not you know all rich are bad fellows then you should not become rich you should not aspire to become rich you should aspire to become poor but we say what no 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 i want this also sir how this river simply said how i got that power to devour the whole thing is the same way this desires just overpowers you completely and since you don't realize it when you go through the consequences of it you don't understand and you pay the price when you pay the price you always think what what did i do to pay this price why i am going through this agony this sorrow this suffering the price you got to pay is sorrow the price of thoughts entertained without awareness the price is sorrow agony that's what we all experience sir i it seems to find in my life but still you know something is missing you know something is always you know missing in my life i'm not getting that deep down there's no joy right and what is interesting is you know for certain that deep down you know pursuing your desires there is no joy in it but still you go on that's what happens with the rich you know it's not that you are totally convinced suppose if you are totally convinced wealth is going to give me security wealth is going to give me joy wealth is going to make me happy go ahead but the tragedy is what you don't believe it in deep within yourself nor do you have a deep belief in god that god is there he will take care nor you have this this so which means deep down there is a doubt you carry deep down you are not convinced but then what is forcing you then why are you doing it sir why this is happening still you go on to it why that is a tragedy of life this is the real tragedy of life so what is renunciation is saying what is knowledge is saying knowledge is saying just wake up to this cycle that's all wake up to this reality wake up to that possibility to another possibility another reality of life once you have that opposite of this is what thoughts drag you by the thoughts drag you to aversion and attraction and then you have no control you have put yourself in that situation but then you say what it is the world that is attracting sir the world is not attracting the bomber it is you who had put yourself in that situation it is you who have forced yourself there primarily you gave the power to the world to attract you or to have aversion the world by itself will not neither it can attract nor repels that the power is not there with the world and the capacity in you to recognize this and wake up always constantly thinking i want this girl 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 i want
After a point, what he says, I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. When you said, I want the girl, you are so sure about it. When you are saying, I don't want this, you are so sure about it. So interesting to see like when you wanted that car, you are so sure about it. Now you don't want a car, you are so sure about it. You are so sure in both the cases. You are attracted to this or not. Now, when you see in life, you will see wherever there is no attraction or aversion directly to that experience. What is your condition, sir? Is indifference, not renunciation. That's where people get confused. You you take the cases of all experiences in your life where there is neither attraction nor aversion, neither a like nor a dislike. In any experience where there is neither a like nor a dislike, how are you there? Totally different. Like, you know, in those days, you know, weddings used to happen during weekdays also. Muhurtams are not used to come during week, you know, weekdays. Recently, only Muhurtams all got adjusted to itself. You know, all this, you know, Gragas have understood. They all become busy. So we will come only during weekend. Weekdays, Lana, no Muhurtam. Nobody has Muhurtam nowadays. You know, it's all only weekends now. Muhurtam. So those days. So my father, you know, would say, you know, I can't go because I have to go to school. So I cannot go to this wedding. You go, he said. Now, in that wedding, we will know only that father. We won't even know that mother because the father is a teacher. He has come to our house and he knows my father. So he has he's been visiting our house. We know only that one man. We don't know anyone else there. And no one else knows us also there. You know, no, you know, sometimes you know you may not know them, but they may know you. That is also possible. There. He will say, Go. I remember once he told me to go for some, you know, unfortunate event for, for a death. The father said, see, someone who has to go, I cannot go because I have this, so I can't, you know, cancel that uh, meeting. So you go. He said. The only person I know in that place is the fellow who's lying there. Right. Now, I was, that experience was something, you know, fascinating one for me. I don't know anyone in that place except that one fellow. Right. He is also, I can't go and introduce myself to him. And then I understand. You know, now I have to go and I, I saw that, you know, it was a very strange experience for me. Imagine, no. When People are all there crying. I am standing there. And you know, I have been to that wedding where people are all in jubilee. I was standing there. It's happened, you know, very, you know, in quick succession, in about a matter of, you know, a couple of, of, you know, maybe a month also, maybe a few weeks, you know, gap it was. You know, so it was so vivid in my, you know, memory. I said, no, see, I was. I was just standing there with, I could not participate in their celebration, nor I could participate in their sorrow. I couldn't partake here, I couldn't partake there. Why? What is that state? Renunciation? What is it? There also I don't know any, I don't know who that boy, who that girl, what they are, I have nothing to do with them. Nor I have anything to do with these people. What is it, sir? Indifference. We just become indifferent there. Now, many of us take such experiences and start calling ourselves to be a renunciator. Yes. No, no, no. That's not renunciation, please. It is to do with what? Therein. The world and its attractions meant nothing to you. World means what? The world of your desires. The world of your likes and dislikes. With reference to that, yeah. if you don't understand it like this, then it is so misleading. You see, 
you will get completely lost. You won't even understand what is going on. It's all, you know, you will start believing in those things. Now, today, whatever is attracting to you, you believe in that. You are so strong. You say, obviously, sir, obviously it is, it is like this. There is knowledge. Knowledge of what? I see people, you know, uh, I remember he started a class here in you know, Bajagovinda. One lady who was attending the class, she was telling me, Sir, I have been listening to Bajagovinda all these years. Only now, I am getting scared to listen to it now. He said, very interesting comment, you know, he said, now it is really scary. Eh? I never knew this is what the meaning of it. Earlier, she was listening to it with so much of devotion, you know, slightly, you know, more than Yama So, you know, Bhavana. Bhavana was slightly better than Yama you know, this lady. But now she says, I know what is this. I know the meaning of those, you know, sloka. Now what has happened? Now that I know what is in it, what happens to me? Is ever switch it off. So long as, you know, I don't know the meaning, it is okay. The moment you get to know the meaning of what is there, it is scaring you. You switch off, actually. The same things, you do things without realizing what you are doing, what you are thinking. Therefore, he says, renunciation is knowledge. Knowledge of what? Knowledge of this. That is the sap, he says, flows in the tree of success. It is the sap that flows, the tree of success. If the tree of success, in your, if, if you have to have this, the, then what does it say? Desires. My desires. My desires means what? That's why I'm just looking at it from different, different sides. My desires versus your desires. My desires are all what? My desires are all necessity. Your desires are all greed. Isn't it? Whatever I desire is my necessity, sir. Do you have any desire beyond your necessity? And whatever the other fellow desires, we call it as what? Greed. Sir, everything is there for him. I don't know why they want to amass more money. Hey, the fellow says, you know, sir, he's alone, no wife, no child, nothing. He has property here, property there, property there. And we wanted to buy that property. One of the property is buying from that fellow. And that fellow is having a hardcore negotiation with him. And this fellow is asking, sir, this fellow is 85. Hmm? The wise land. Whether he will be there for registration, we don't know. Hmm? We are asking for the agreement we are putting for six months because there is nothing, nobody is there. At least he has a son, he has a daughter, he has something, you know, the family is there. Now he has nothing. Why he is asking for it? Such a greedy fellow, sir. So greedy. This, this guy is telling me some time back. I said, What is that? Any desires of the other person, all my desires will look so reasonable to me. All your desires will look unreasonable to me. My desires, what desires? You are not aware at all of what thoughts you are entertaining. That's why one of the exercises we give to people is to write. Just take a pen and paper, right? If you nowadays you can't write all the writing also is not an effective one. Take a tape recorder and just record. Keep talking and record. Whatever comes in the mind, just talk. Record it. You see, when you try that for the first few seconds, nothing will come. You'll be very conscious. What do you want in life? What do you desire in life? First thing the fellow will say, I want to realize the self. I want to serve the world. I want to do this. Allow the first two or a few you know, minutes. All these things will come for a few minutes. 
after that only original things will come you know after that things will come out one by one those stocks will come one by one and then you listen to those things you will be surprised when did i entertain a thought like that when did i sit when i thought when i thought i never thought like that that's why you can never acknowledge acknowledge the suffering because the world says what if you desire you are desiring things when you are in a state of unawareness you don't even know what you are entertaining what you are asking when you are not aware is not an excuse ignorance is not an excuse you will be penalized what is that penalization sir penalization is agony suffering i go through the suffering you go through the agony agony of what failure so therefore what success if you want what you have to do sir he says renunciation is the way to be successful and what is renunciation renunciation is synonymous with knowledge knowledge of what in the absolute sense knowledge of the self in the relative sense knowledge meaning being aware of your thoughts but don't try don't try to say that you know from today what i'm going to do sir i'm going to become aware of my thoughts i'm going to become aware of my thoughts all that will happen is for a few minutes it will be quiet and then it will start its own way now how do you build that awareness is not by saying that i should be aware i should be aware i should be aware and all that you can never build it like that you know don't don't try all that you know that uh, that sort of a con- you know concentrated exercises and all won't work so don't try such yeah, attempts that concentrate attempts or you know auto suggestion what i'm going to do is i'm going to tell myself what is it be aware be aware be aware by repeating be aware you will not become aware if that is a case all that you have to do is what to keep repeating that i am brahman i am brahman i am brahman you will become brahman you can repeat a crore times nothing will happen to you you will still remain the same because repetition because repetition or a point clips your awareness that is why when you play cards have you seen you play cards you won't even register the time passing i got already 2 o'clock he said now the day you know before we are going to the academy last thing we are doing was that next day morning is my train previous day night was this with all my friends they will never get a chance after this in my life to play cards so what you are going to do whole night you are sitting and playing cards my bridge rabi rabi la lo boring that is bridge is a very interesting you know game play and in the cards what are they just 13 cards you are repeating the same 13 cards again and again and again and again and again that's all it is repeating the same thing by repeating that same thing again and again and again any where you same thing comes into picture you go unconscious and that unconscious is the fantastic breeding ground for the mind to develop various desires that desires they are classified into true liking disliking the the manifestation of that likes and dislikes is attraction and aversion but essentially what is it desire only same thing when i say i like that person one desire i don't like that person another desire it's the same thing so all this starts from where this so whenever we say ignorance don't think in vedanta ignorance means i don't know no that's not ignorance please here lack of information is not ignorance here ignorance is lack of awareness avidya vidya avidya avidya is not to be treated like avidya means not alert not aware meaning what you are not conscious you are not alert of what thought you are entertaining what is the implication of that thought what is the source of that thought 
through that thought what you are trying to achieve you are not you don't know any one of those things that aspect is what is referred as ignorance here opposite of that is knowledge so vidya is opposite of avidya when we say it's we are not talking about i didn't know you know sanskrit earlier now i know sanskrit correct earlier i didn't know chemistry now i know chemistry earlier i didn't know this now i know this earlier i didn't know vedanta now i know vedanta does it mean anything it's all same thing only why because in vedanta knowledge is not equivalent to what we understand as knowledge it has a special connotation here what is the special connotation sir being alert that's called knowledge so renunciation means what renunciation is synonymous with knowledge knowledge means synonymous with alertness alertness of first be alert of your thoughts your thought process then you can think of i am the self and all that because i am the self if you really understand has no meaning follow carefully right think think about it i am god i am god i am god i am brahman i am brahman i am brahman is ishwaran brahman ah uh, ishwaran is not brahman okay then i am brahman then what are you saying brahman is brahman is there any any, any meaning to that uh, meaning to that statement ishwaran is brahman if you say there is some meaning in that you'll say what no 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 how can ishwaran be brahman ishwaran is not brahman ah correct why ishwaran is individual jeeva he will disappear he is mortal he is not immortal so then go what ishwaran cannot be brahman because brahman by definition is eternal now ishwaran has a birth ishwaran has a death therefore ishwaran cannot be brahman now all of you replace your name i am brahman put your name there i am putting my name here are you brahman no 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 then then what are you saying sir i am means i am brahman so which means brahman is equal to brahman of course tree is equal to tree snake is a snake boy is a boy girl is a girl man is a man table is a table ah is this knowledge what are we talking then we just go on you know we don't even understand what we say that's why i was giving the example of bajagovinda you don't know the meaning of it therefore you listen to it and you are reveling in that you know ah oh, fantastic sir kastvam koham kuta yata ame janani ume yata yes now from where you are come who is your father who is your i say my ma father my mother this is my father this is my mother maybe shankara doesn't know who is his father who is his mother you know i know i know so long as you don't know the meaning so long as you are not aware you are not probed you are not investigated you have not consciously worked on that thought of yours meaning you have taken it for granted that is where you are not aware you are not alert there is knowledge that knowledge is the synonym of renunciation that renunciation is the sap of the tree of success let's see in the next class thank you for you